All right, I'd like to make a little uh, video series here on doing an introduction to, to Python, but specifically for people who understand JavaScript, which is most of my students. They've learned some JavaScript, and now we're going to play around with just the basics of Python. And the goal here is, is just the basics of Python, input, output, variables, if statements, loops, nothing, uh, not functions or lists or data structures, that kind of stuff, just, just the basics. And I thought it'd be interesting. I've got two uh, two replets here. One is just a JavaScript sandbox, um, just a little web page here, and I can do my little alert, hello world, All right? And if I go here and refresh, this should run my JavaScript, and it'll do a little alert, hello world. And then I also have a replet here that's a Python replet. Um, First thing you'll notice here, this is the comments for JavaScript. In Python, we do a comment using a, a hashtag. And this is just the title. And I'll do also a hello world, and I'm just going to go print. Hello world, like so, no semicolon. Python does not require semicolons. And we hit this run, and we'll see that in the console here, it prints out hello world. So this is the first thing I wanted to, to just distinguish between, between JavaScript and Python is JavaScript we use to make web pages interactive, right? We had our web page or HTML and our CSS and we could interact with it. Um, but when we learn Python, we're first going to just, like Python can do a lot, but at the beginning we just work with this console, just text-based stuff. If I was running this not on Replit, but I'm on my regular computer, I ran this, this main.py file, it would open up a, a little window and it would just have text that, can, that we can print out. So that's the first thing just to get used to. Um, so when we do learning Python, I want to compare it to JavaScript. I'm just going to compare it to simple JavaScript programs that just use like alert and prompt, um, just like we have our basic input and output with a console. Okay. Um, all right. So I was talking about input and, and output is maybe a good way to start. So like I said, in, in JavaScript, this alert function gives us this beautiful alert window, whereas in Python, we just use the function print. And then whatever goes inside of the parentheses is what will get print to, printed to the console. Um, let's do a little input program um, or get some input from the user. Let's do something like... Uh, let name be assigned prompt. What is your name? And then maybe I'll do time of day. Is assigned prompt. What time of day is it? Uh, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here or make this a touch wider so we can see it. Sorry, I'm going to hit enter on this one, or is it just, oh, no, we need that. Okay, anyway, just go to the next line, that's fine. Um, so th this would be the idea of using, um, getting some input from the user using the prompt function in JavaScript. And then we'll output a little message, and instead of hello world, I'm going to go hello plus name. And then maybe another alert, have a great time of day, right? And if we wanted to add some punctuation here, add a period to the end, and maybe I'm excited, and we add an exclamation mark there. Okay, so input and output, right? Use the prompt. Let's see what this looks like in JavaScript again. What is your name? Let's go Nathan. What time of day is it? Night. It says, hello, Nathan. Have a great night. Okay, so simple input and output. Let's see what that looks like in um, in Python. So I'm going to do a comment for input. Now, the way we declare a variable in Python is we don't actually need to declare anything let. We can just do the name of the variable, name. And then there is an input function. Okay, and this input function will prompt the user for a question, which we put into here. What is your name? 
and I'm just gonna give myself a little more room here. Okay, what is your name? And then uh, same thing, time of day. Now in, in Python, there's a convention that instead of doing the camel casing, they often do just uh, underscores, but that's up to you, it doesn't matter. Uh, what time of day is it? Um, and in general, variable names do apply in terms of you can't have spaces, you should just stick with letters and numbers and those kind of things. Okay, and then we'll do some output. And again, just the print, we do the exact same thing in Python, we can add strings together. So you can go hello plus name and a period and then print have a great time of day. We just use that variable and let's do an exclamation mark. No semicolons needed and I'm, I'm used to that with JavaScript. Okay, so let's see what this does, right? We just do this input function. It'll ask the question and store the result in these variables. And then we can output the message with those variables. Let's give myself a little more space here. Run, what is your name? Let's go Megan. Time of day is it? Morning. Hello, Megan. Have a great morning. Okay, so very similar, just variables. We don't need to declare it with let. You can just make a variable. Um, and then this uh, this input function pauses the program and allows the user to type something and it'll return what the user types in and we can save it in that variable. Alrighty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop there for this video. That's just a quick introduction to input um, and output with Python, right? The input function and the print function. Um, in our next one, oh, I'll sort that out later. Choose my changes. Okay, um, in the next video, we'll look at doing like a simple calculator, right? Do numerical input. Um, so, cause so far, everything we've worked with is with strings, right? With text. Okay, hope that made sense and we'll see you in the next video.